So in this video, we're gonna start the basic implementation. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna build our first node. So that is basically a retrieval node. What we, it will gonna do is that it will gonna we will gonna give a list of uh, URLs to it, and it will gonna uh, extract the content from that particular uh, URL, and then it will gonna give it to the vector store. We will create a vector store that can. Uh, store those uh, content in the provided embeddings right and once that vector store we have built our vector vector store with the given context we can retrieve our relevant documents by the question right whatever question i am asking the vector will gonna return me the relevant documents from the entire uh, list of documents which we have stored in the vector store okay so starting on uh, what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna write my first method here which is basically a retrieve docs method so this will uh, probably be an async method because we will be calling some non-blocking or we'll be calling some blocking apis right so here i'm just gonna write this so this is basically a graph interface and we need to have a graph interface before we start implementing the retrieve docs method and that is essential because graph interface holds all the shared resources so without that we cannot actually move forward so the first thing which we're gonna do is that we're gonna implement a graph interface right so this will probably be a shared state right so this can be shared between multiple nodes that's why we have named it as a shared state here and i'm gonna define what we want to be here within our shared state the first piece which we want is the string actually so whatever question we are asking in the string format that will be there and the second thing which we want is the generated answer so whatever answer we are getting from the model that is also we want to keep here now the third thing which we want is the documents right so i'm gonna have documents here but document is a uh, entity which we need to import from langchain actually so we're gonna uh, quickly import this so just remember you need to install the langchain libraries before you move ahead otherwise you will not be able to get these dependencies here right so we have document here okay so it should be document in order to get this work and then we'll have the model so model because we are actually using openai model in are multiple nodes and that's why I don't want to create this model every time I go into a node uh, that would be slow so in order to optimize this what I have done is that I have made this model as a part of this shared state and I'm gonna have one node which will gonna create this model and once that model is created I will going to assign that model into this shared state so that I create the model once and I'll use it everywhere in my entire graph and that makes more sense so because since we are using a single model it makes more sense to have a single declaration or a single initialization of the model so what we'll do is that we're gonna retrieve the docs but before we go ahead and we, we retrieve it we need to have we need to build our vector store so I'm gonna quickly build my vector store so this is probably an async function what we're gonna do is that we will have some URLs basically right so suppose currently I'm giving it an empty string but I will gonna pass some URLs here so that I can actually pass this URL to the um, extractor and I can get the content from it so in order to get the extractor I need to use an already existing library so basically I'm gonna use promise so getting here and I want to extract the URL one by one or basically I want to extract the content from the URL one by one so I'm just gonna write URL here so I'm gonna like looping from the URL and I'm picking each and every URL and I'm gonna get the data so so I'm using a Cheerio web based loader to get the data and then I am returning the data here so 
the studio web based loader will gonna pass in the url and it'll gonna return the content present in the url right and once this is done once we have loaded it once we have enabled the loader we're gonna load this so that it can return the document here right and then i'm gonna use a or first i'm gonna lock this here so that i can just mention retrieved docs do this like this as well okay this looks good so I have logged it here apart from that what I'm gonna do is that I will also build my vector store so before building a vector store I need to split this docs so I'm gonna split it uh, split this talk using a text splitter and for this particular text splitter I will need a I need to declare a text splitter first so this will be probably a recursive character text splitter which is also present in LangChain. I have to define the chunk size basically so for now I'm gonna define the standard 250 and we need a chunk overlap which I'm gonna define to be zero. So we have our text splitter ready now let's use this text splitter to split the documents so it has a split documents method which can take the document and it can return the splitted documents and once that is done, I am ready to return or basically create a vector store. So this is also a blocking call. I'm ready. Vector store. This is also a part of Langchain. You can see this Langchain and vector stores memory. So this uh, creates a vector store in your memory. It needs to first define what document you are giving in the split. We have already splitted our documents. So I'm going to just put this document here and apart from that it also wants us to tell the embeddings what embeddings you are giving so it needs it needs some embedding in order to index this document or basically transform this document so I'm gonna use hugging face transformers embeddings right I'm gonna use a default model which is used multiple times and I'm gonna use this one this is Nova all million and yeah I guess this is done so this is done here yeah. we have created a vector store we have tried to split the documents and this is given and giving an error saying, saying argument of type documents is not assignable okay it, it can we cannot assign the documents of documents we need to make it a flat version so it was taking an array of documents I guess it needs a flat version okay cool this looks good so we have the vector store here now what I can do is that I can use this vector store to get the data. So now this will be like very easy. I'm gonna, so this method actually returns a vector store to us. So I'm gonna store this vector store somewhere whenever I call this method. And this is, since this is an async method, I need to use an await vector store. Or I can name it a better, okay this looks good so we are building a vector store here and yes this is good so we have a vector store with us okay cool yeah we have a vector store here with us after that once the vector store is ready we need to retrieve the relevant documents and how it will do that we already have a vector store with all our content uh, sent uh, extracted from the URL now we need to use uh, basically start uh, retry some of the documents so how you can do that you can do that by passing on the question so here what I'll do is that we're gonna use this vector store and we're gonna invoke this vector store with our question right so once we do that this question will be given to the vector store and the vector store will only send the relevant documents right so that is the idea we will we don't need the entire uh, context or content which we have uh, pulled from this URLs all the bunch of the URLs into it instead of that I will only need the relevant documents which is relevant to the question I have asked and then models can use those context to give me a relevant answer and that is the idea we have once we have the document we can put that in the state so basically what I am doing is that we already have a document here 
use this so you see that in the state we have this documents right so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna assign this document to or basically i'm assign this retrieve docs to this particular document so that whatever document i have retrieved is assigned to the state and it can be used in further nodes right so this what it does it it we created a vector store by passing on the url and taking the content from it now this vector store is retrieving only the relevant documents by taking into the taking in the question we have asked and this retrieved uh, docs is basically assigned into the shared state so that we can use that document further in our notes ahead right other the uh, in the notes ahead when we are trying to generate the answer the llm model will require the context and where we will use this document will will basically use this retrieve document